Martin Luther King said, a genuine leader is not a searcher for consensus, but a molder of consensus. And it is in this spirit that our awarding today has been and will be recognized. Sharon K. McGahey is a native of New Jersey, born in Newark and reared in Linden, New Jersey. She is a cum laude graduate of Spelman College in Atlanta, Georgia, where she obtained a Bachelor's of Arts in Political Science. Upon graduation from Spelman, Sharon enrolled at Rutgers University School of Law in Newark. She graduated in 1982, and after a short stint in the, in the private sector, she moved to the United States Virgin Islands to work in the office of the Attorney General. Returning to the States, she joined the Middlesex County Prosecutor's Office as an assistant prosecutor. Thereafter, she returned to, the pri to private practice working with the law firm of Ashley and Charles in Newark, New Jersey, and next with Faribault, Freeland, Gills, and Hillman, House Counsel for Travelers Insurance Company. In 1994, Ms. McGahey joined the Law Department at the Port Authority of New York, New Jersey, where she has represented the agency in contract, negligence, and employment matters. Over the course of her legal career, Ms. McGahey has tried approximately 55 cases to verdict. She has been involved in numerous published opinions regarding complex issues in constitutional and federal law. In September 2010, Sharon was selected as Program Manager for Diversity and Inclusion in the Department of Human Resources. Working in conjunction with the Director of Human Resources, Mary Lee Hannell, Manager of Equal Employment Op Opportunity, Compliance, Diversity, and Inclusion, Stephanie Lewis De Desiree, and Assistant Diversity and Inclusion Program Manager, Sandra Ortiz. Diversity and Inclusion has strived to set in place the components of an agency-wide diversity program. Since coming on board, Sharon and Sandro have partnered with the Port Authority's employee resource groups, including the Network of Black Employees, to coordinate and identify effective new strategies for a cohesive workplace, including the reactivation of the Port Authority's ambassadors programs and a pilot mentoring program, which is due to be launched in the coming weeks. Ms. McGahey is an active member of the New Jersey State and Garden State Bar Associations, as well as the Association of Black Women Lawyers. Sharon is also a former member of the New Jersey Superior Court Civil Practice Committee and District Fee Arbitration Committee. She is a former vice chair of the Board of Trustees of Essex Newark Legal Services and the current vice chair of the Board of Trustees for Ramapo College in New Jersey. Her social and civic affiliations include memberships in the Montclair Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated and the Northern New Jersey Chapter of the National Alumni Association of Spelman College. For her spirit of unity, consensus building, leadership, and strength, the Network of Black Employees hereby issues its 2012 Leadership Award to Dr. Sharon McGee. That she wasn't going to write anything down, but <clears throat> she hasn't quite reached my age yet, so <laughs> my remarks are committed to writing. Um, I'm not going to be very long because I'm illegally parked on uh, 37th Street. <laughs> I hope that uh, Inspector Walcott is still in the building. <laughs> Thank you, Quinzel, for those uh, very kind words. Um, it is my sincere, um, uh, I, it is with rather sincere gratitude that I thank uh, the officers and members of the Network of Black Employees and Erling Alexander for this very special award. Um, this organization, from almost day one, when my colleague Sandro and Ortiz and I took over this diversity initiative, has been a help, a sounding board, and a support. And so for that, we thank you immensely. 
It is indeed an honor to be recognized on the 25th anniversary of the MBE's Martin Luther King Breakfast um, to um, allude to something that Mr. Lewis mentioned, and Mr. Lewis, I miss you on WWRL. I love Mark Riley, but I really do miss you, and I hope you come back to radio. Thank you. Um, Dr. King, to me, in my lifetime, uh, has changed this country more dramatically than any other American. One of my earliest childhood memories is of standing in front of the black and white television in my parents' bedroom, watching the March on Washington. And since dates have been given in my introduction, I guess you can assume uh, how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, to also pick up on something that Dr. Muhammad, who was a personal friend, uh, mentioned earlier, um, as a lawyer and a student of history, I credit Dr. King with breathing life into our founding documents, our Declaration of Independence and our Constitution. Because if it had not been for him and Americans who had a coalition of conscience, this country would not apply the ideals on which it was founded equally to everyone uh, who is a citizen of this country. So for him, for that, I thank him and I stand on his shoulders. In June of 2010, when a star assignment for diversity manager opened up, I jumped at the opportunity. Uh, Pat Foy mentioned in his talk to uh, employees last week that it helps to have passion for the work that you do. And indeed, it, there's a bit of irony in the fact that I'm receiving an award for something that I really, really love to do. It was okay representing the agency in terms of people having broken legs and psych injuries, but believe me, I have more passion for um, helping the agency uh, in the area of equal employment opportunity. Diversity is the respectful understanding of human differences between people. Most people think of it in terms of the traditional categories, age, race, sex, national origin, but it's even more broader than that. It has to do with educational background, experience, and perspective. One only has to look around this room to realize that there's a great deal of diversity in this agency. But it doesn't end there. That's only part of the equation. Getting people through the door is just the start. The equation is incomplete without inclusion. And what do we mean by inclusion? Inclusion is making sure that the members of our workforce feel welcomed, valued, and respected. We in diversity and inclusion are focused on developing and investing in the people that make up the Port Authority workforce. Because engaged employees have good morale, greater productivity, and better retention rates. In the year and three months since Sandra Ortiz, my colleague and I, have come on board, as Quinzel mentioned, on the recruitment side, we've revived the Port Authority Ambassadors Program because we believe that uh, Port Authority employees are in the best position to speak about the benefits and the virtues of working for this great agency. So in collaboration with our invaluable partners, our employee resource groups, the Port Authority Hispanic Society, ably represented by Jorge Mercado, the Asian American Association, represented by Manish Patel, who was also here. And of course, this auspicious organization, um, very ably represented by uh, Erlene Alexander and her board of directors. Uh, we have enlisted members of their organizations to go out and to talk about opportunities here at the Port Authority because it is a good place to work and there are many uh, valuable and meaningful uh, careers that one can derive from working for this agency. This year, we have the distinction of having recruited 46 members to be ambassadors, 34 have been trained, but our hope is to extend that outreach. We hope that our ambassadors program will extend out to alumni associations, professional organizations, to the military, as well as community contacts. 
On the professional development end, we are concentrating on helping our career service employees to develop personal, professional, and leadership skills.